My name is Joyce Harper and I'm the Programme Director of two MSc programmes in the Institute for Women's Health, University College London. One MSc is on prenatal genetics and fetal medicine, which has been running since 1996. And the second is on reproductive science and women's health, which has been running since 2009. You can find out more about both of the programmes at the Institute for Women's Health webpage. This video is introducing the module on gametogenesis, pre-implantation development and IVF. I've been working in the field of IVF for over 25 years, initially as a clinical embryologist and more recently in PGD. I'm involved in a lot of work for ESHRA. Please visit the UCL Centre for PGD website to find out more information about our team. The aim of this module is to provide knowledge into the theory and practical aspects of gametogenesis, pre-implantation development and IVF. The intended learning outcomes are to demonstrate an understanding of pre-implantation development and IVF from oogenesis and spermatogenesis, fertilisation, pre-implantation development, infertility treatments and all aspects of IVF, and to understand the practical issues relating to IVF treatment and why they are important in modern society. As well as lectures, the module involves discussion groups, tutorials, DVDs and a practical demonstration of IVF. Uniquely on our MSc programmes, we have observation days in a number of clinics relating to this module. All students attend at least one observation day in an IVF clinic, which includes the London Fertility Centre and the Centre for Reproductive and Genetic Health. Topics that we cover in the, this module include male and female infertility, the genetics of infertility, infertility treatments, oogenesis and spermatogenesis, clinical andrology, the IVF lab, clinical aspects of IVF, fertilisation, pre-implantation embryo development, and factors affecting pre-implantation embryo development, pre-implantation genetics, new developments in ART, and ethical issues in ART, which will include an ethical discussion. IVF has been a growing field since the birth of Louise Brown in 1978, the first IVF baby. Over the last 30 years, IVF technology has changed dramatically, with a number of new techniques being introduced, such as SUSE, ICSI, IMSI, TISA, PISA and MISA. We've got new technologies such as slow freezing and vitrification of eggs and embryos. There's been a lot of debate about the culture media that we use for IVF and what is in it and is it the best for our IVF embryos. And the day of the transfer has moved very much from day three to day five, the blastocyst transfer. And also we'll touch on pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. We have a module on that later on in the MSc. Some of the new techniques that are being developed will also be discussed, such as assisted hatching, pre-implantation genetic screening, time-lapse video of embryo development, oocyte activation, in vitro, in vitro maturation for sperm and eggs, amino acid profiling and other new technology. We'll discuss these techniques in detail. In all our MSc modules, we have both formative and summative assessment to develop key skills that you will need in your future careers. For this module, the formative assessment involves a group activity to examine a recent media coverage of a paper related to the module and an oral presentation comparing the media report and the paper. The summative assessment is composed of two essays, both of 1,500 words. The first is to report on infertility treatment in a country of your choice, and the second is to write an essay on any aspect of infertility treatment. I'll read drafts of these essays prior to submission to give you feedback for improvement and additionally offer further feedback once the essay is submitted. Our aim is to improve your writing skills throughout the MSc programme. Each year some of our students go on to do careers in embryology. You can visit the Institute for Women's Health employability pages to find out testimonials from past students and information on careers in embryology. We also run careers afternoons dedicated to clinical embryology. For further information, please visit the Institute for Women's Health webpage.